Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, I have another Dollar Tree haul for you guys. Not huge, but I got some exciting things for me anyways. Just wanted to point out, this is in my last Dollar Tree haul, I showed you guys these uh, Goody brand headbands. I wore one the other day to work, and there's my, there's my kitty cat. <laughs> um, and it stayed on all day, which these things never stay in my hair. So if you see these ones with like the little stripes, it's a two pack, definitely recommend getting them. Especially if you have the same issues. Now let's get into what I bought in no order. <laughs> um, I just got one of these lighters. Uh, we were, the like fluid in our other one was out. I got some cotton rounds, the Assured brand. I use these for um, eye makeup removal and then also um, to take off nail polish, which I really need to do my nails because they look cray. Um, I got this little box of envelopes. We were just, I needed, and I was dropping off my car to get some work done and you're supposed to like leave your key in an envelope provided. They had no envelopes and Dollar Tree was right there. So bought some envelopes. Um, nothing exciting, I know. I got these. Um, anytime I see the 40 count, I try to pick these up. These are just the flushable toddler wipes to keep them in the bathroom. Um, let's see, I'm going to be having my um, sister and my two nieces come stay with us for a while. So the one girl is seven months old. So yeah, I'm trying to kind of baby proof the house a little bit, but I picked these up. These are the outlet plugs. It's by Angel of Mine, which is Greenbrier. You get 12 of them in a pack. So I picked up one at one Dollar Tree and then I thought I better get another one because there's always more outlets than you think. And then also for my two nieces, the one is three and a half. The other one, like I said, is about seven months. So I just got them a little ladybug. I just thought these were so cute. And then a butterfly one. Aren't those adorable? They had one other butterfly design, I think, but I thought that was cute. I got this two pack of socks. Finally, my Dollar Tree has stocked up on cute socks. But you get two. It's this like minty blue color and one's a chevron. And my husband just got home. <laughs> um, I got this two pack. It's the Surefresh brand. They're just the reusable like Tupperware things. But these are the nice like thicker kind of plastic. They're not like the real flimsy you know, like lunch meat container ones. These are really nice and sturdy. Um, and I just like that they're like the little bit thinner to put like, you know, when you take like, cause my lunch box that I have now doesn't expand a lot. It's not very wide. So I just thought this would be good for like when I take little sides or dip or something. Um, I finally, I finally got this potato gnocchi. It's by Caputo, I think. So this is a product of Italy. I've heard people talk about this get this I just wanted to try it for myself I've had gnocchi before I've made homemade gnocchi before um, but for a dollar I just thought this would be fun to try as a side dish one night so I got that I picked up another pack of these pens to try that uh, like DIY craft with in case I like it um I got this is really exciting a toilet brush we just need one for to clean bathrooms <laughs> exciting stuff um, oh, I got this I thought was a really good deal. It's you get four of the energy or Ener saver compact fluorescent 60 watt light bulbs, but there's four in there for a dollar. Like these are definitely more expensive. We use we only use like the energy saving kind of light bulbs um, if we can. Um, it's got the energy star on it. So it's a let's see. It only uses 13 watts, but it's like a 60 watt bulb. So this will be good for like lamps and stuff. But I thought that was a good deal. And then, let's see. I've got just a few things left. I got a little stylus to use on my for my phone just to keep this in my purse. They had like the stylus and pen ones, but I'm just so tired. My touch screen phone is gets so gross and fingerprinty. And so I thought if I could just leave this in my purse, it would be good. And then the stickers, oh man. I, there was actually like a lot more stickers in my Dollar Tree this time, but I didn't go too crazy. I did get these like, they're kind of really holographic. I think just the background is a little bit, but they're like all kinds of popsicles, and ice cream cones. And then I was so excited that they had the donut ones. So I got two puppets. 
And then the last few things are kind of beauty related. I finally got the uh, Chap Eye Slip Treatment, the cocoa butter one. I just wanted to try it and for a dollar, I mean, I kind of wanted to try the rose one, but I heard some mixed reviews on the scent of it. I just like the color of it more than anything, but I am excited to give that a try. And then they had the LA Colors Color Balm and I got the, let's see if there's a name. Oh, it's called Kopow. And it's in this like purpley color. I'm gonna open it for you guys that I've been loving. And I just love the mint. Uh, I can show you guys closer. Mint green. I'm trying to get a smell on it. Doesn't really smell like too much of anything. The one thing I will say about, it feels a little like it's shaking around in the packaging. Um, ooh, but I like that color a lot. This is the color I've just been like really gravitating towards. Let's put it on my lips. Ooh, it feels really nice. <laughs> feels very moisturizing and not a ton of color which is just nice I love to have these in my purse so yeah that's cool and so I did get I can't remember the other brand that just came, the profusion one as well it was just at the Dollar Tree and I have a baby lips they're not all the same color but I think I might do like a review or like put all three of them side by side and just to see what I like the best and then the last thing I finally I caved I don't ever I look at the perfumes sometimes, but I never ever stop and get one. And I've just heard everybody talk about this. So I finally said I'm gonna. I finally found one, and I smelled it, and it smells really good. Um, it's the Blossom Blast. It is. Um, so it's the comparable one to the Flower Bomb by Victor and Rolf, which is that real perfume is very expensive, and I've not actually smelled that real perfume at all. But this is the European American Designs. Perfume. It is a pretty bottle. It's a lot of product. This is two and a half ounces. So that's kind of a lot. It does smell really nice. It smells similar to me to my favorite perfume, which is Euphoria by Calvin Klein. Not exactly the same. That one's a little bit spicier than this, but if you know what that, I'm not good at telling you how stuff smells. It's just a sexy, musky kind of smell. Like it's some floral, but it's not like old lady floral. I don't know if that makes sense, but um, it does smell really nice. And for a dollar, now I will say, um, I think I saw someone else review and they said the scent didn't last very long. It doesn't. I mean, this is definitely more like a body spray than perfume, if you ask me. Like it, the scent doesn't last all day. It did last for quite a few hours though. It lasted longer than I thought it would. It lasted for at least two, three hours of just kind of, like it faded quite a bit, but I could still smell my arm. I sprayed it, I sprayed this one on my arm in the, uh, in the place and then like went and did some other errands and whatever and it still was on there. So it's not gonna last all darn day, but for a dollar and they had quite, they, made, they have a ton of other perfumes and they had some other ones that smelled pretty good, but honestly this one is the first one that I've actually been like, this is worth, for me to spend the dollar on because the other I just have so much perfume as it is but for a buck this is such a great and this would be such a good one like it's big to travel with but this is the kind of thing that would be good because if you lose it you don't care or like something happens to it I don't know so anyways that's everything I got not a ton of stuff this week but I have some pretty cool finds if you ask me so anyways hope you guys are doing good and having a good week and getting ready for Jurassic World to come out I'm so excited my friend and I I think are gonna go see it this weekend I'm so excited I love dinosaurs I'm excited are you excited I'm excited thumbs up if you're excited okay thanks guys bye